I've been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a great weekend, and I'll see you next time when. What's, what's going on? This doesn't look like FIFA. Hey, is that Simon Dan? Iniziamo molto felici di vedere il Papa del Vaticano. Ci benedirà tutti. Oh, um, God says science is cool, so go read the book. Okay, what's going on? Hello, Simon Dan. Sorry to bother you. Why did you teleport me here? We were testing our equipment teleporter for our new base. Wait, hold on. I'm equipment. Yes, a vessel of information, a catalyst of knowledge. I'm not sure if I should consider myself insulted or complimented. Consider yourself lucky. Our teleporter has misfired a few times today. Oh, really? Yes, we cannot find the Pope. Sono stato il Papa di Vaticano. Ci vediamo la prossima volta su YouTube. Sottoscrivi. Wherever he is. We hope he's happy. You know, this is the first time we've seen each other face to face. Yes. So come on then. What? Tell me a government secret. Why? I've been working for you for years. Call it a sign of trust. Elvis is alive. Oh, come on. The moon landing actually happened. Everyone knows that. Ducks are evil. Ducks are evil? Yes. How are ducks evil? I've said too much. No, come on, this is getting interesting. Also, Mr. Joey is back. Mr. Joey? Oh, no. I think you'd better take a look at this. Hey, um, is Conspiracy Cats a real cat? No, I really said too much. <laughs> Right, Mr. Joey, what have you done this time? I'm going to be talking about volcanoes are a hoax. Oh boy. So you guys can just ask me questions if you want, otherwise I'll be randomly talking. You're already randomly talking, kind sir. Would you like some assistance? Actually, yes. Good. I'll see if I can find someone. No, 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 no. You sit right there. What? You're putting me through this, so this time round you're participating. You can't make me. Then we won't exchange Christmas gifts this year. But, but, I already got you yours. Well. That would be a waste, wouldn't it? Fine, but two can play that game. Or should I say, three. Here are the winning numbers. Three. <laughs> One number. Eight. Hmm. Hmm. Twelve. Three has a tenner. Twenty-seven. No way. Thirty-three. Oh my god. And the final number is... Sixty-nine. Yes! 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 <laughs> oh, hey, it's FTFE. Yes, Fluffy the Freedom Eagle. I'm pretty sure that's Fight the Flat Earth. Yes, he is fighting the Flat Earth. And with such grace. <laughs> hey, FTFE, what's that you're holding? A winning <laughs> lottery ticket. <laughs> is that why you're always annoyed by Flat Earthers? Are they better at random numbers than you? <laughs> no. What? No. Why'd you ask? Have you found another one? Mr. Joey is back. Who's Mr. Joey? Well, some people, maybe they think that I'm a guru, that I'm all-knowing. Yikes! Yep. Indeed. This man claims that volcanoes are a hoax. Oh, he's going down. Hang on. He's spreading misinformation through the nation of our generation, through his YouTube station. Calm down, Hamilton. Let's hear what he has to say. Lava is real. It's 100% real. Good. We're off to a great start. Flying colours. Torch of knowledge. I'm saying that it never erupts out of a cone-shaped mountain. And here we crash and burn. My ears hurt. Uh, I'm hyperventilating. It would defy the laws of physics and we've never seen it on video. Is this guy for real? Is he serious? Did I just meet an imaginary friend? Disney would pay heavy money for the rights to Mr. Joey. Any person that is fluent in a modern spoken language can find a clip of a volcano erupting. See? How would it defy the laws of physics? Well, imagine if you will, you have yourself a cone-shaped mountain. Ooh, should we censor that? There goes my YouTube partnership. My therapist will be a rich man. A mountain is made out of rocks. We can all agree on that, right? Rocks on Earth, yes. And various chemical elements depending on where you are on Earth. But let's roll with it. Nobody disagrees on that. 
Wait, uh, what was that? I saw it too. Mr. Agent, can you enhance? I'm giving it all she's got, Captain. It seems to be a stock drawing made for children's books. Nothing wrong with that, but well, he's a grown man. When will they start using resources aimed at adults? And we can also agree that rocks have a melting point, right? Of between 600 to 800 degrees. We'll assume he means Celsius. Fahrenheit, right? We all agree on that. Okay, so... Did he say Fahrenheit? Yes, he did. Rocks have different melting points, which can depend on the purity of their chemical components. Even so, we're not talking about ice cubes here. Melting rocks is a lengthy process. We agree uh, that a mountain is made out of rocks, these cone-shaped mountains, and that... Uh, uh, rocks that comprise these mountains have a melting point of between 600 to 800 degrees. So magma being twice the temperature of the melting point where rock actually turns into liquid would defy the laws of physics. Oh man. He's expecting the mountain to melt. Do you want to melt a mountain? I tried to input these calculations into NASA's computer and it gave me an error. What did the error say? You must be over the age of three to use this computer. <laughs> the temperature differences aren't that big to result in an entire mountain melting. We have evidence of islands forming due to volcanoes and lava. So what would actually happen is if it did decide to go uh, all the way up and, and funnel through the top of a cone-shaped mountain that's several hundred feet high, um, it would be melting the rock as it pushed its way up, causing the mountain to actually implode. Causes for a volcanic eruption, the buoyancy of the magma, the pressure from the exhaled gases in the magma, and the injection of a new batch of magma into an already filled magma chamber. There are many factors involved. Even the water underneath the surface when it comes into contact with magma creates steam, which can build up pressure, which can lead to an eruption. And if you guys want to know how lava is made, it's, it's very deep, but I'll tell you the simple version. Oh, thank you. My tiny little adult man brain would feel overwhelmed otherwise. I need a diagram every time I use my stove. The true complex explanation is actually a government cover-up. Is it? Wouldn't you like to know? Lava is a combination of silicon and oxygen. Two ingredients. Pretty crazy, right? Magmas vary in their composition, which give them, and the volcanoes that contain them, different properties. It took me 10 seconds to find this information from National Geographic. But let's stick to the simple version. Wouldn't want our heads to explode. From the steam pressure. <laughs> yeah. When it touches the air, or when it touches water, it turns into all kinds of different things, like glass, metal, turns into nickel and copper and rocks and all kinds of different stuff, right? I've never heard of magma turning into nickel. Maybe it's a new Minecraft update. Even Harry Potter is going like, damn, my magic is shit. It's not man-made, it's, it's made by uh, Mother Nature, God if you will. Um, made everything, so it's God, but people call it Mother Nature. Or it's just a byproduct of Earth's internal heat caused by its core. Ah, but who made the Earth's core? Mother Nature. And Father Time. And Baby Moses. It's actually silicon and oxygen that are compressed at such a high temperature that it makes this stuff called magma. Makes this stuff called magma. This stuff called trees, this other stuff called clouds. JJ says that it seems like volcanoes are a fear tactic. 100% they're a fear tactic. Oh yeah, I, I heard about that. What? The Secret Service uses this a lot. We do not. Sure you do. When someone upsets you, you send them a letter. I don't lava you anymore. <laughs> That doesn't make sense. It's a joke. Ah, I see. Humor. Yeah, don't you guys have that in the Secret Service? Hmm, let's see. Trump, a racist, and a flat earther are all together on a malfunctioning plane heading towards an active volcano. Who survives? Who? The United States of America. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a, here's a book on volcanoes. Um, as you can see on the picture, you see lava coming out of this cone-shaped mountain, right? There! He's using the book again! I wish we could read along with him. Oh, the fun we'd have. Gentlemen, I've got you covered. Please check your floor printers. My... my floor printer? Yes, I took the liberty of installing one in each of your studios, alongside a towel rack and a pest dispenser. Oh! Brilliant! Oh. oh. Why? For science. Let's read along, children! So you may have seen something like this before. You might think, that's a cone-shaped mountain with lava coming out of it. No, that's called a fissure. That means when lava seeps onto the earth from these cone, uh, from these underground lava tubes, they form little mounds. I'm talking like, you know, maybe 12 feet high mounds, maybe 20 feet high mounds. One doesn't exclude the other. We can have mounds and mountains with lava spewing out. These lovely images from this lovely book shows what happens at both a smaller scale 
and the larger scale. So Mount St. Helens, nothing but ash. There's Mount St. Helens right there. There are many different ways in which volcanoes become active. Smoke, explosions, eruptions of ash and rock, if you think only about the different areas of the Earth and you get different chemical mixtures. Volcanologists are always concerned when a volcano becomes active underneath a glacier. When scalding hot lava melts huge amounts of ice and snow, for example, then mud flows can occur. This information was found on the National Science Foundation's website in less than eight seconds. See, this is what they say happens. Because this is what actually happens. The temperatures inside the Earth are so high that it melts rock into a liquid called magma. Pressure pushes this magma up to tubes and vents inside the volcano. When the pressure gets high enough, the magma erupts out the top of the volcano and then it's called lava. But do we see any of that lava coming out? No, we don't, we see ash. His multiple arguments are quite a few. One, two. And both are standing on thin ice. Was, was that also humor? N no. Is there a volcano under the thin ice, melting the ice? No. Don't overcomplicate it. You know what is humorous? Imagine a CIA meeting back in the 80s going something like this. Gentlemen, we must do something about the 12 feet mounds and the cone-shaped mountains. I say we use them as a scare tactic. Excellent suggestion, but what about the lava? Well, I say we better turn it into nickel and stuff. I think we just invented a new scientific word, stuff. But won't people figure out it's all a hoax? I'll talk to my boys, bring in them ash generators. You. I like how you think. Yeah, me too. But hang on a sec. What are we getting out of this? I have no idea. Let me just point to Indonesia. The recent uh, supposed volcanic eruption in Indonesia. Nobody died, right? Zero, zero people died. Why? Because it's not deadly. It's just sulfur and ash. It's no big deal. It's actually good for the environment. It's good for the ground. It fertilizes the ground. Um, it's beneficial. Ah, what a lovely day. <laughs> So beneficial. Sulfur in a certain controlled amount can be good for your garden. Same with wood ash. I'm pretty sure that a volcano erupting is not gonna make your salad taste better. Also, Pompeii is a hoax. Did this person just deny one of our history's most memorable tragedies? Being covered in blazing hot lava is one of the worst ways to die. And he's saying it's a hoax. I think he broke Floofy. I need my blood pressure pills. You know, Pompeii is such a hoax. Um, everything about volcanoes that they tell us is a hoax. Okay, I think we should stop here. It's for the best. I can't imagine him saying anything worse than that. Hey guys, how is everybody? Ha, huh, Mr. Katz, run. A mental thought experiment for you. No. Grab a clear, no. empty bucket. No more, Mr. Joey. Just a mental no. thought, or you can actually do no. it. I've done it. No thought experiment. No more, Mr. Joey. No. Goodbye. Drill a hole and push a broomstick all the way through it. No, no more mental thought experiments. We're done with Mr. Joey's class. I hope his garden gets a volcano in the middle of it. Thank you for joining us, FTFE. Keep on keeping on. Thank you for having me. You shouldn't have. Nope, the pleasure is all ours. No, no, really, you shouldn't have. We all took one for the team today, for science. Take care, guys. If you'd like to see more of me, then head over to my channel and subscribe. I do regular debates with flat earthers and make videos. Link in the description. Happy holidays. I have a secret mission for everyone watching right now. I have a YouTube channel. Click the link in the description and your mission will be successful. Subscribe. Same to you FTFE and happy holidays to Judith Bauer Stamper, the author of this cracking little book. We really appreciate your work, whether it's for children's books or more complex manuscripts. To all book authors out there who love science in all its shapes and forms, focus on the people who really want to listen to you. Thank you for educating us all. Indeed. What a year, hey? I'm sure we've had worse years in our history. What's important now is to remember how lucky we are in so many ways. True. Merry Christmas, Mr. Agent. Merry Christmas, Simon Dan. Posso andare a casa adesso? I hope you enjoy your present. That sounds like the Pope. I'm positive you two will have a lot to talk about. But I'm an atheist. I can't have the Pope in my house. What am I saying to him? Love your work? Bit rubbish? Looking forward to your next album? How about Happy Holidays? Happy Holidays. And a formidable New Year. And a truly, absolutely, fantastically happy New Year. And a truly, absolutely, fantastically happy New Year. Yes, Happy Holidays everyone, and an absolutely, truly, fantastically happy New Year. I have been Simon Dan, 
and I'll see you all next time. Cheers. Calm down, Hamilton. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it.